Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between a folder and a document library. So here in front of us, we have this board SharePoint site, and when I created this team site, it created something called a document library. You can usually access the library by clicking on the documents link on the left-hand side, and you probably notice I have a few documents here. I have this folder already. Um, essentially, a document library, think of it as a file and cabinet. Just like in your office, uh, I'm sure you have uh, maybe not one, but maybe multiple file and cabinets. Essentially, document library is a file and cabinet that allows you to organize your files and folders. Think of it as a middle layer between a site and your files and folders. Now, by default, when a new site is created, you only get one library you can have as many as you wish all right it's just a way for you to organize documents now if you don't have a very large number of documents you can just put them all in one library and have a mix of files and folders and subfolders just like you normally have would have uh, maybe on a file share but it is considered a best practice to split the content among uh, multiple libraries. Now, there are different reasons why you might need to create uh, multiple libraries. Usually, the number of documents, all right, not uh, the number of uh, you know uh, gigabytes or terabytes, uh, but uh, really the number of documents. If you only have, let's say, a few thousand documents, then uh, you can obviously put them all into one library. However, if you have, I don't know, let's say 100, 200,000 documents, then it's always the best practice to split them up and create additional libraries. To create additional libraries, all you need to do is just uh, navigate to the home page of the site, click New, and you can create various elements here on the site. And we are going to choose Document Library. Let's just say I really want to organize uh, invoices separately, all right? Uh, I want to keep them separate from other documents, so uh, just give it a name. By default, it will add a link to the left-hand side navigation. That's fine. And here's the library that just got created to store invoices. It looks, you know, it pretty much behaves the same as the default document library. Uh, and uh, you can now just obviously navigate and upload documents there. One last thing I wanted to show you. So uh, let's say you decided to create multiple libraries. And once again, it's just a nice way to split your content, separate it among multiple libraries. Uh, let's just say you need to see them all. Maybe uh, you forgot to add a link to the navigation. How do you access them all? Very easily, you just click the gear icon, site contents, and you will get to see essentially the contents of your entire site. It will show you the default document library that you have. Uh, by the way, the default library cannot even be deleted, all right? The default library uh, is there. It serves uh, uh, the purpose, so uh, it cannot even be deleted. But among other things, you will see the uh, you know, custom libraries you created and those could be deleted if necessary. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you now understand the difference between a folder and a document library. As always, uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, thanks for visiting my blog at sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.